Did you share intimate images or videos with a stranger on the internet and now they are threatening to release them if you don't pay a ransom? This is called sextortion. In this video, I'm going to explain if you should pay a sextortioner to stop them from distributing your intimate images. Hi, I'm Nate Woodward, an attorney here at Mink Law, the nation's leading law firm when it comes to combating sextortion and online harassment. Sextortion is an increasingly common problem in today's digital age. You may have met a stranger on a dating app, social media site, or other online platform. You chat, connect, and eventually end up exchanging intimate photos. Then the tide immediately turns. Suddenly, they're threatening to ruin your life unless you wire them money and do it fast. You may wonder, will giving them what they want make the problem go away? In this video, I'm going to explain to you why the answer is no and what your options are if you've already paid them. Let's get started. Many people who find themselves in this situation wonder, should I give them what they're asking for to make this stop? The answer is always no. Sometimes the perpetrator will be demanding more sexual content or private usernames and passwords, but the vast majority of the time, they simply want money. Paying a ransom can add fuel to the fire, letting the perpetrator know that you'll honor all their demands. In their eyes, you become a reliable source of income. The more money you give them, the more attractive a target you become. It's also important that you do not panic and immediately cease engaging with the perpetrator. Understand that these people have usually made a career out of these schemes, and they are very skilled at making their victims scared. They prey on that fear to make their threats feel urgent. Cutting all contact with the perpetrator helps remove the power dynamic at play. Without open lines of communication, their ability to torment you subsides, and you are less likely to make rash decisions influenced by panic. While you should not pay a sextortioner, there are a number of things you should do right away to protect yourself. First, document all communications and evidence. Write down or screenshot any email addresses, phone numbers, or social media usernames associated with the people extorting you. Make sure that you save all messages in which they threaten you. Next, secure all online accounts and social media. Immediately restrict your social media accounts as much as you are comfortable. Deletion or temporary deactivation is best. At a minimum, ensure that your friends or followers are not publicly visible and do not allow strangers to tag you, add you, or message you. For those worried about professional ramifications, don't forget LinkedIn as well. Third, block and avoid all further communication. Block all email addresses, phone numbers, and social media accounts the perpetrators have used to contact you. Continue blocking and ignoring any new attempts. They may try to use multiple angles to pressure you, and it is important that you do not engage with any of them. Fourth, report the account or message. While it is likely that your extorters use multiple accounts across many platforms to carry out their scheme, it is a good idea to report them for extortion, harassment, impersonation, or distribution of harmful content. This can usually be done through the person's thumbnail or profile page. We also recommend reporting the perpetrator to the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center, which can be found at complaint.ic3.gov. Next, monitor the internet for attacks. It may be tempting to unblock the perpetrator or re-access your social media to see whether they've acted on their threats, but this will only expose you to additional pressure and harassment. Instead, create a Google alert for yourself to ensure that you are notified of any new information that is published about you. You may also consider using a professional digital risk service to monitor the internet for you. Finally, reach out to a sextortion attorney. If you've taken all of these steps and feel like you need additional help, contact an attorney who specializes in sextortion to assist you through the process. You can locate an attorney through your local bar association or state attorney referral service, or by searching Google for an attorney who specializes in these matters. If you already made a payment or tried to meet the perpetrator's demands before watching this video, do not lose hope. You may be able to cancel the money transfer before it is finalized, since many sextortionists elect to pick up cash from the transfer in person. However, they will likely try to retrieve the money as soon as possible, so you should act quickly. If you've already initiated a transfer, we recommend contacting your bank as well as the transfer site for further information and for help canceling your transaction. Sextortionists typically use international money transfer platforms such as Cash App, Western Union, and MoneyGram. In any event, it is critical that you do not pay the extortionist anything else and stop all communication with them right away. Sextortionists are expert at causing panic and anxiety. They want you to feel like you have no option but to pay them. It can be incredibly stressful and isolating, making you feel like there's nowhere to turn. But rest assured, you are not alone and you will get through this. If you need an emergency sextortion consultation with one of our experienced attorneys, please reach out. You can contact us by calling 216-373-7706, speaking with a chat representative, 
or filling out our online contact form. I'm Nate Woodward, an attorney with Make Law. Thank you for watching.